Hello fellow video game collectors and welcome to another pickups video. So first I got this awesome special edition Pokemon XD GameCube from fellow YouTuber RetroHunterK. If you haven't seen his channel before definitely check him out. I'll have a link to his channel in the description below. He has some of the most amazing pickups I've ever seen on YouTube. Just video after video he has some epic scores that I can only dream of getting. So he also sent me this card and it says, Hey buddy, great channel, keep up the good work. Just wanted to send you this XD GameCube. Hope you can find a good home for it in your game room. Your friend, Retro Hunter K. Thanks a lot, man. You know, I, I really appreciate it. And I have just got to get me some cards like this. Uh, unfortunately, they came looks like they came from Club Nintendo, which you can't get anymore. So I'll definitely have to find some like this for... For packages that I send out to others. So the main differences of uh, this GameCube to any other GameCube is that not only is it silver because it only comes in silver but the Nintendo GameCube logo has been replaced by the Pokemon XD logo. Nothing too fancy but definitely something to look out for if you ever see a silver GameCube out in the wild. Unfortunately I only have the Pokemon XD game loose so I still need to find a box and manual for it to make this a complete bundle with, with the console for my collection. Uh, I've also been thinking about uh, swapping out the black GameCube system that is in my GameCube kiosk with, with this one uh, because I think that would make a good change for it uh, for my kiosk. Uh, wh what do you guys think about that? Although it might be a pain to pull out the old mounted system uh, because it's got it's like resting on top of the uh, the cooling fan. It's really loud. Uh, you can go check it out in my other video if you want to see what I'm talking about. But it has a cooling fan underneath it. Um, I'm not quite sure how it is attached to the kiosk, so I'll have to figure out how to swap it out. But I think it'd be pretty easy to do. So I think that m this might look pretty good in that. So I don't know. Something I've been thinking about. Next, I ended up backing the Game Chasers. Season 3 Collector's Edition DVD. Uh, if you haven't watched the Game Chasers before, stop this video right now, go to the description below and click on the link to their channel and check them out. Uh, they take the format of the TV show called American Pickers, but instead they are looking for video games. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite YouTube shows to watch. I mean, these guys are great. So. You know, like I said, I got the collector's edition of the DVD from them, uh, which it comes with. The standard edition comes with just these three discs here. You know, just great, beautiful artwork, and you know, even on the back and on the disc. But it also comes with a bonus disc of just extra content that's only available in the collector's edition, as well as this mat that they made which is based off of their uh, their series of videos of them game hunting. Um, you know, really awesome. And not only uh, did it come with that, but you were also able to ask them to, to sign it. So here it's been signed by Billy and Jay and Melvor and Chris. So pretty cool. Uh, now I've got to look out for the season one and season two DVDs because I don't have those and I would love to get the collector's edition. However, unfortunately, the collector's edition is just a limited run. Uh, you can buy the standard edition from them anytime you want, but they do a limited print of those, of the collector's edition. Okay, now for some Goodwill pickups. Uh, I went to a friend's wedding uh, that was out of town, so of course I had to check out the local Goodwill shop. Actually, it was just conveniently located next to the place I had dinner one night. But I dug through their CD cases like I usually do, and I found this very interesting uh, StarCraft music CD. It's called StarCraft Music Volume 1. It's not the official soundtrack, but instead it was something that was released out of South Korea. So it's sort of like a bunch of South Korean StarCraft remixes. So if you want to give it a listen, I'll have a link below to where you can listen to it on YouTube, down in the description. 
So there were also a few games there, and these were all $1.50 each, including that CD I, I picked up. I found a copy of NASCAR Dirt to Daytona for PlayStation 2. Apparently this game is somewhat sought after as I believe it goes for about $15 to $20 complete. And there's a good reason for it too, because Dirt to Daytona is a, is a pretty good simulation of NASCAR. You have you know all the different teams and drivers and their sponsors, as well as a lot of the well-known courses from NASCAR, as well as this pretty good physics engine, which includes um, damage physics. And not only are there cup cars, but you also have uh, some of the other series, such as uh, the trucks, the modifieds, and even some dirt tracks. Definitely check it out if you're a NASCAR fan. Then I found another racing game for the PlayStation 2, uh, Sprint Cars Road to Knoxville. This is a, another NASCAR game that is pretty much exclusively about dirt racing with Sprint Cars. And I also believe it has modified cars in it as well. Uh, it's definitely nowhere close in quality or depth to the Dirt to Daytona game. Then there was also uh, some GameCube games, one of them being Super Monkey Ball. Now, this is a great game to have and I can highly recommend playing some of the mini games with your friends. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with these, especially the one called Monkey Target where you, you roll down this large ramp and then you fly off and you are trying to land your monkey on certain platforms to get points. Uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot of fun and I definitely recommend this game. Then next there was Avatar The Last Airbender, which is a series I've never watched before. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward beat-em-up with RPG-like leveling and an upgrade system. And the final game I found was Monsters Inc. Scream Arena. This game really has just nothing to do with the movie. It's just a Monsters Inc. branded dodgeball game. Definitely not what you would expect from a Monsters Inc. game. And the last thing I found at this Goodwill was a game guide for Madden 07. Um, I don't really care much for Madden, but you know I love finding game guides for cheap. Can't say no to 25 cents. Next, I've got a couple of games from Amazon. Uh, the first one is Langrisser Re Reincarnation Tensei for the 3DS, which I paid $32 for as a pre-order. And since it was a pre-order, it did come with this art book, which is kind of cheap because it's just a paperback art book. Nothing really too fancy about it, uh, just a paperback art book. And it also came with the soundtrack disc, you know, and I do love it when games come with their soundtracks. It's, that's a good plus, but that was, those were bonuses just for pre-ordering it. But man, was pre-ordering this game a mistake. If you're a fan of the previous Langrisser games, you then you will just be sorely disappointed with this one. Go play Fire Emblem instead, because that's a much better strategy tactics game than this is. And then I have here another disappointment that I pre-ordered from Amazon, Star Fox Zero, which uh, it came in this big box, but you know it included Star Fox Zero as well as Star Fox Guard, and I paid forty-eight dollars for this because I did pre-order it new. Now I could go on, you know, all day about Star Fox Zero, but I'll just say this. I've played and beat the campaign, but it'll probably be a long time before I pick it up again. It's a good game, but it was made bad by these just forced motion controls that I just struggled with the entire game. It just felt like I was fighting more against the controls than I was fighting the enemies on the screen. Now as for Star Fox Guard, it's a decent tower defense like game and it's pretty cool that you can create your own levels for it but that's really all that it's got going for it and lastly I've got a few games that my friends gave to me from my friend David he gave me this copy of Pirates vs Ninjas Dodgeball and this game is exactly what the title says it's pirates and it's ninjas and they're playing against each other in a game of dodgeball it's not a terrible game but it's pretty lacking on content beyond being a 
pretty simple dodgeball simulator. And then I got a couple of games from my friend Chris. He gave me a copy of God of War 3 for the PlayStation 3, which is a series that I've yet to play and really need to as a new game is coming out soon, as that was just announced at E3 here recently. It's a pretty good action-adventure beat-em-up kind of game, uh, loosely based on Greek mythology, if you've never played this before. And he also gave me a copy of Valkyria Chronicles for the PlayStation 3, as he upgraded to the remastered PlayStation 4 version that came out earlier this year. It's a turn-based strategy game mixed with third-person shooter elements, which is quite the unique combination for a strategy game, but it works really, really well. Uh, definitely check it out if you haven't played this before. And so that's all I've got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video a like, as you know, that always helps me out. Uh, leave a comment down below about anything I've talked about today. Maybe what's the weirdest video game related thing that you've ever picked up at, at Goodwill. You know, anything like the StarCraft CD that I found. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And remember, you gotta get the power up to beat the game.